Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about a very interesting application of passive filters in communication system, okay? So first, let us try to understand what is that problem and where we can apply the concept of passive filter. So you might know that the noise power is given by K into T into B. That means basically noise power is basically uh, multiplication of the uh, K. K is basically Boltzmann constant T that is absolute temperature of the system and B, B is basically bandwidth. Okay. So from the expression itself it is clear that if the frequency increases the noise power will obviously increase if the frequency decreases noise power will decrease okay we, the, that is uh, from the expression itself it is clear that noise power is proportional to bandwidth okay so basically for a low frequency part the noise power has uh, lesser value and as the frequency will keep on increase uh, and it will reach to high frequency part in that case noise power will be high now suppose you have transmitted one signal suppose that signal power is s okay and we define this particular term i hope you already know this if you are a student of electronics and communication engineering that is s by n that is signal to noise ratio and for proper reliable communication this signal to noise ratio has to be very high that is signal power has to be very high compared to our noise power now suppose you transmit one signal from the transmitter so what will happen the signal power you cannot change okay the signal power will after transmission signal power will not in our hand but if you consider the noise see in this signal that is basically uh, composed of high frequency and low frequency signal right because when we transmit our message it is not necessary that we will transmit only low frequency signal or it is also not necessary that we will transmit only high frequency signal it will our transmitted signal will be comp will composed of high frequency as well as low frequency components but what will happen see if you uh, consider the noise for low frequency i told you the noise power is less but for high frequency the noise power will be high so as a result what will happen in your signal if there is a low frequency as well as high frequency component then in that case the s by n or the signal to noise ratio will be okay for low frequency signal okay because signal power we have transmitted that is not in our hand and the noise power is low in low frequency so, so that in low frequency it will not affect much but if you consider at high frequency what will happen as p pro noise power proportional to bandwidth so at high frequency the noise power will also increase but signal power in is not in our hand because we have already transmitted so signal power if we assume this as constant so see but the noise power is increased so that what will and eventually s by n will decrease okay so basically in the transmission medium we have faced one problem that uh, provided that we cannot change the signal power what is happening that at low frequency all the noise cannot affect our original signal much because noise power is lesser in low frequency but at high frequency the signal to noise ratio will be very less because noise power will be very high and our signal may corrupt in a very high amount okay so this problem has to be resolved okay so basically what we can do basically we can say like this we have to make such amplifier in the transmitter side which will amplify our high frequency signal more and more that is a, as the uh, frequency of our message signal increases the amplifier should amplify that high frequency part of the message signal more and more compared to low frequency because the, the transmission medium after transmission the noise will uh, affect our high frequency signal only uh, more and more because noise power is dominating at high frequency right so that uh, uh, as a preventive way what we will do in the transmission itself we will amplify our uh, high frequency component of the signal compared to low frequency okay low frequency need not be amplified because uh, at low frequency noise power is lesser but high frequency signal has to be amplified that kind of amplifier we have to make which will amplify more and more as we increase our frequency of the message signal okay so how so what is the problem we have identified now how we can make such amplifier using passive filter let us try to understand okay so already in my previous video the, you know that high pass filter can act like differentiator and if you see 
that uh, this is basically one block diagram of differentiator here this is our input x of t we are passing through the differentiator system that is ddt block and we are getting y of t now if you convert this particular system sorry if you convert this particular system into laplace domain what you will get in laplace domain it will be represented as c x of s and d dt is represented as s right so basically you know i think by this time you have already studied signals and system course and there you have studied this property of laplace transformation of differentiation and in laplace domain if we transform this system we will get this that is x of s will be passed through the system whose uh, transfer function representation is s and we will get y of s so basically we can say from this y of s is equal to s into x of s and instead of s we can write j omega right because you know that s is represented as j omega so y of s is equal to j omega into x of s and omega is what omega is angular frequency which can be represented as 2 pi f so y of s is equal to j into 2 pi f into x so from this uh, relation in between y of s and x of s it is quite clear if frequency increases what will happen this 2 pi f x of s will increase so as a result y of s will increase so basically you can see that if f increases y of s will also increase okay that means we can say if the frequency increases the output signal uh, will increase or amplification factor for the higher frequency component will be more and more and this satisfied our uh, requirement okay see previously what we required we require such amplifier block which will amplify more and more our high frequency part okay so see here itself we are getting that if the frequency increases the amplification factor also increases so uh, what we can do before transmitting our signal in a noisy uh, uh, channel what we can do we can pass our message signal before the modulation itself we can do so we can pass our baseband signal or message signal through a high pass filter so that what will happen although it will uh, it ha it should not affect the low frequency part but it has to amplify the high frequency part more and more if we keep on uh, increasing the frequency of our uh, message signal or baseband signal okay so basically this is uh, the way we, how we can uh, resolve that problem okay so basically conclusion is as the frequency increases uh, in, in the previous uh, slide we have seen as the frequency increases the output also increases so high pass filter can be used to amplify the high frequency components of a signal okay and what may be the circuit high pass filter means obviously this kind of circuit comes into your mind right there is one capacitor connected by one resistor there is resistor capacitor series combination and we will take out the uh, sorry resistor then that will be high pass filter and then we can implement that so basically what we will do we will pass our message signal via this part and that will eventually increase the high frequency component and we will get here our message signal suppose in this input side sorry um let me erase this part so suppose in the uh, input side here this is our message signal original message signal or baseband signal m of t then we want to amplify our high frequency part which is present in the m of t and here we will get after filtering through the high frequency part we will get here m dash t and then after that we will do frequency modulation and then we can transmit in the channel right but no there is one problem what is that problem see we want to amplify our high frequency part but also we should uh, pass uh, we should mix such high pass filter which will pass the low frequency part too okay see m of t our message signal consists of low frequency as well as high frequency but if you implement this kind of high pass filter to amplify the high frequency component what will happen complete low frequency part of our input original message signal will be blocked because if you see the impedance offered by the capacitor is 1 by j omega c and at omega equal to 0 or for dc signal if you as you know that frequency is equal to 0 the 1 by j omega c will be basically infinite okay so basically at low frequency this particular path will almost behave like one open circuit so as a result no low frequency cam component can go from the
this particular left hand side to right hand side but this should not happen in our message signal our intention is to amplify the high frequency part but we should keep the low frequency part also so that what we can do just simple modification we will put on resistive uh, path okay so what will happen at low frequency this particular capacitor will become open circuit but that low frequency signal can simply go through this resistive path basically we are making one bypass path okay for this high pass filter okay so basically this particular filter we can use see as i told you one capacitor resistor is making high pass filter but for uh, passing the low frequency component we are attaching one resistive path along with the capacitor in parallel and then we are modulating our message signal via one frequency modulator and then we are transmitting in the uh, noisy channel okay so this is called pre emphasis okay so that it is written pre emphasis fm output okay so basically what we have done instead of directly modulating our message signal and transmitting in the noisy channel we have uh, made such arrangement so that our low frequency signal will go as it is but our high frequency signal will be amplified so that the high frequency at high frequency the noise uh, cannot affect our signal much and the s by n will be kept almost same irrespective of the frequency okay so you might think here that at low frequency what will happen the capacitor will be open circuit and here the resistor the resistor when it will go here basically it will make one voltage divider kind of circuit so basically here if this is our input original message signal m of t and we will modulate our signal which we are getting here m dash t you may think that the signal power of the m dash t is lesser than m of t obviously it will be lesser because we are applying voltage divider uh, and uh, because of application of voltage divider obviously m dash t will be lesser than m of t but it will not be a great issue because if you consider i already i have told you s by n at low frequency the noise power is very less because the noise power formula is k into t into b right so the noise power is very less at low frequency so if our signal power decreases by a little bit amount then also it will not affect much okay the signal power the signal to noise power will have a standard value so that proper reliable communication will occur okay all right i hope up to this the pre emphasis circuit is clear now what we have done in the modulation see we have increased the high frequency or amplified the high frequency part and we have try to keep our low frequency part intact or as it is so that we have added one resistor now in the demodulator circuit what we have to do first fm demodulator we have to use then after that directly we cannot use that message signal because in that message signal what will happen the high frequency part is amplified and low frequency part was there as it is so that we have to is the high frequency part in that demodulator or in the receiver circuit right so in the receiver circuit we have to decrease the high frequency component because in the transmitter circuit we have increased or amplified the high frequency component right? and obviously from the basic concept it is clear that to decrease uh, or attenuate the high frequency component what we can use simple low pass filter okay so that low pass filter can be used to Uh, 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 to decrease the uh, high frequency component in the receiver right so again uh, that kind of derivation we can make here in case of low pass filter we know that low pass filter acts like integrator which i have already discussed in my previous video and you know this laplace tra laplace transformation formula l of integration of f of t is equal to 1 by s l of f of t so basically 1 by s that can be written as 1 by j omega c okay 1 by j omega c into f of s if f of s our input signal okay so basically you can see here that omega now in the denominator part and as a result what will happen if frequency increases this particular factor will decrease and as a result high frequency component will be attenuated okay so simple low pass filter can be used to attenuate or decrease our high frequency component which is present after demodulation in the receiver section okay so basically simple application see this is one fm receiver circuit block diagram here we are using fm demodulator here fm signal comes in here basically here channel is present okay so 
here our channel noisy channel is present and via that fm signal came in then we are uh, giving that in fm demodulator and after that uh, what we have to do we have to use this low pass filter i hope you can understand this is simple low pass filter rc circuit and we are taking output across the capacitor so this is actually low pass filter what it will do it will pass the low frequency signal as it is but it will decrease or attenuate the high frequency signal because here already we have seen that 1 by j omega c so if frequency increases the attenuation factor will be more and more okay so basically this is called de-emphasis circuit so basically this uh, pre-emphasis and de-emphasis are widely used in frequency modulation to keep the s by n intact okay so why we are using that that is more important and as an engineer communication engineer point of view we should understand why we are using that block okay see s yes by n the signal power we cannot change but noise power it is although it is lower at low frequency it increases as frequency increases so we have to make such block which uh, will amplify our high frequency component of message signal in the transmitter side and will decrease the high frequency uh, component of the message signal which we have amplified in the transmitter side that has to be uh, attenuated in the uh, receiver side so that we are using pre-emphasis and de-emphasis circuit okay and why you are using that uh, what is the circuit diagram i hope it is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section this is all for my this video thank you for watching